Attention to detail, destruction physics, unfinished content, and stuff you were just never meant to see. Let's go into it. The GTA 4 community recognises the postman as the rarest pedestrian in Liberty City, but that's not entirely true. You've probably never seen the telephone repairman before. They specifically only work between 1 and 2 p.m. and are just quite unlikely to spawn. But, as an electrician, they can also be seen working on various appliances around the map too, between 3 and 5 p.m. Same old problem! Wires, 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 wires! The car washers have great attention to detail. You'll see the advertise a special discount, and I found out it's actually true. Going through in a regular vehicle will cost you $5, but when in a taxi, you're only charged free. And if you didn't know, driving through in a convertible will fucking kill you. <laughs> Just kidding, it will prompt a worker to come wash a car by hand instead. I also like how water drips from the bristles after it's used. GTA 4 is a lot more destructive than you think. I'll let the gameplay speak for itself. The dinosaurs from the museum display are probably the best example of environmental destruction. I also like the industrial scaffold. the miniature statues in rich Alderney residentials, and target practice at the local black market. Did you ever notice the lack of birds in the sky? There is literally none. For some reason though, you can find seagulls at the ferry in Alderney, and again just down the road at the docks. They only appear at certain times, so if you visit the area at night for example, they won't be there. I found it strange that Rockstar didn't finish this feature, so I actually did it myself earlier this year, and released Project Birds. The beaches are now especially popular with seagulls, while parks host other species of bird, and fast food joints are completely surrounded. The Mr. Tasty ice cream van is full of surprises. It plays music, which speeds up when the player speeds up, or even reverses when the player reverses. Creepily, one of its jingles is the theme song of GTA 4 itself, so via connection. While listening to it, if you call the number on screen, it will unlock a secret cheat code for the player. Once you open the text message from Zit, you receive health and body armor. Creepy. These things exclusively spawn near parks around the world, so keep your eyes out. There are certain things Rockstar never intended players to see, and I want to expose some of that in this video. Again, creepy. These are actually the cars that fill the streets when the player isn't around. It's just impossible to see them so up close without mods. Their unsettling appearance is obscured when they're just the size of mere ants in the distance. They behave robotically, completely lacking any sentience as they pass through obstacles in the road. How about we take one for a test drive?
buskers don't just play the sax, they actually have quite an interesting relationship to the player. Firstly, giving them some money will replenish your health, somehow. Thank you very much. And eventually unlock a new ringtone in your phone. But I think most players know that. What might surprise you is that Rockstar made a higher quality version for Wiz wireless phones. Buskers can also be seen performing on stage at the Superstar Cafes in Algonquin. I love that these guys got so much attention to detail, maybe it's due to the fact that they were voiced by the father of Dan and Sam Hauser. Give me a break, you're worse than my sons! Radio hosts seem to be aware of the time of day. Good morning, Liberty City! I hope you feel as fucking terrible as I do right now. All right, it's afternoon. The music's just starting to set in. The women are heating up. It's gonna be a funky Liberty City! Well, right now, we're gonna put on a little reggae here and a little dance out there. It's gonna be a lovely evening, my star. It's nighttime in Liberty City. Make some new friends in an alley somewhere. Get out of your comfort zone. Pretend to stumble and grope a girl. Fuck, America is great. Similarly, Weasel News provide weather forecasts on the radio. Remnants of tropical storms, Jehozagat coming through, lots of rain. This storm passed over a lot of third world countries before getting here, so expect it to smell. Julie McCafferty, Weasel Weather. Tracking a fog that's rolled in like the haze you feel after a bong hit. Our system pressing off to the south, then east, then going to be foggy for a little while longer. Can we expect a tropical storm or a monsoon? Stay tuned for the next report. Trip Michael's Weasel Weather. Boy, just a great day out there. Lots of sun, but you don't need a dumb bitch with fake tits to tell you that. Julie McCafferty, Weasel Weather. It's gonna be windy, Liberty City. But what is wind, really? A metaphor for love, perhaps? Yes, I think. Trip Michaels, Weasel Weather, bidding you adieu. Some clouds moving through the area. Good time to start thinking about dying. Try homecremation.com. Julie McCafferty, Weasel Weather. Finally, Rockstar considered delivery in the game by implementing the equivalent of UPS drivers. They don't spawn often, so these guys go unnoticed by most players. I got to deliver stuff out of the way! But if you're really lucky, you may even see an employee parked, taking care of cargo in the back. It's crazy that I'm still discovering new things about this game, even after thousands and thousands of hours of playtime. So write me a comment if you learned something new today.